morning. Uh, we slept so so. <laughs> Uh, um, it's very, very windy yeah. and loud. And <laughs> we were here in uh, trees last night, and Chad, like, at first we didn't know what it was. And Chad was like, oh, my hat's getting all over my face. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's a little better. Um, Chad was like, I hope there's not a bear trying to get our bear can. <laughs> And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's just squeaky trees, but, and then the wind really kicked up last night, and uh, we managed to get some sleep. Um, I think your yeah, knee was still getting... Uh, bags. I know, some it's sleep. like, it's so dark and puffy, forgive me, it's just it is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to Unicoi, um, and then, uh, get some food, and hopefully get back on trail pretty quickly um, other than that we don't really have much of a plan because <laughs> we don't so know anything pack up. yeah he's trying to get some of his stretches done in here today but um before we get out in the wind um yeah we don't know much about unicoi and but we do know they have shuttles and uh maybe we'll catch one to town i don't know Stay tuned and see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the burn. Where we stayed last night. Blue Mountain, yeah. Blue Mountain Shelter. That's the Blue Mountain Shelter. I didn't go see it last night because there were a lot of people set up, so. <clears throat> Lots of sights. <laughs> Had some people set up with hammocks right here yesterday. Good morning. Y'all had a view over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty over here. Wow. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. The wind kicked up last night. You know, it died down before we dinner and everything, and then all of a sudden it got stupid. <laughs> it did. <laughs> but it wasn't as cold as it has been, so. Wow. Okie dokie. Leaving camp. All packed up. Million bugs. It's a beautiful day. And there's only one person left at camp, I think. We met him yesterday. And drink some more. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> Where is the trail? It should be right here. Oh, there it is. Follow the leader. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Man, the good thing about walking is you can get away from those gnats. We got all our stretching in. Let's see if today's even better. Big descent day down into Unicoi. Literally from here, I think it's two miles. Yeah. Two, two and a half miles. Yeah. It's, it's all down. Uh oh. We're going, uh, what is that? 4,000. I have a signal. Yeah. Uh, 1,000 from like 4,000 feet, right at 4,000 feet, maybe 3,800. And all happy down Easter, down happy 2, Resurrection Day. <laughs> Happy Resurrection Day. God is good.
The birds are beautiful this morning. Straight up this morning. Straight up. No joke. That's where you come up. You literally have this one little platform here. And you go right back down. This wasn't much of a mountain. Just a peak and a slide. Yep. This is the descent down to Unicoi now. Grass is growing on the side of the path now. Looks pretty. The grain on that tree is twisted. The grain on the tree is twisted. Oh. oh. Dang. That's a big one. This is what you do when you sit down and take a break. Keep the flies away. I'm starting to think I am pigpen. <laughs> I keep I keep saying it's the it's because they're at the water source. It's probably partly because we smell like something they want to be around. muddy right here because this little spring coming out of the rock there's water all over this trail Ooh. Wow. That's so pretty. Okay, the rocks are kind of my favorite now.
Hi. We're almost there because I can hear cars. Yep. Finally made it down. Yeah. And you did all right. Yeah. Oh, stop, 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 there's a bug on you. Okay, I didn't want him to get on you. There's the road. Wait, oh yeah. I knew it was loud. Parking lots right at the. Oh, I see where the cars are parked. See? Mm hmm. It's like a boulder field. Look up. It's just all boulders. funny we've been like excited to get to Unicoi Gap just because that's you know one of the spots everybody talks about getting to the green dragon hostel it and far from there a lot of people slack pack out of there spend a few days and we're gonna get to a parking lot and have no plan <laughs> That's not good. We don't know what we're going to do, but sometimes there's shuttles here. Look at that. It's on the ride. This might be the day to come ride. We've, uh, after spending a week in Helen, we're just looking to resupply food and really just keep going. Uh, I don't want to get trapped into getting to a hostel slack packing for days and hot showers and beds and all the things uh, we need to continue on this whole section from uh, hog pen to unicoi has been an entirely different looking trail from the first videos so it's been it's been hard it's a lot of uh ups and downs and it's been a real workout but i actually like the rock scrambling like this better than just uh you know dirt with your foot tilted going downhill constantly uh, it's been a little bit of a change on the knees not necessarily easier just different movement so I just thought I'd show you some of this Try and notice the vast difference between the sounds of wilderness and the sounds of the road. Just crossed over the highway, coming in to Seswallow Creek. Big parking lot here. That's where you can grab a shuttle and get to town. Uh, we're fishing to sit down and rest. And, uh, Get us a plan together. Get us a plan. Resupply. Right now, food. 
backpacks are in grocery shopping <laughs> cart. And this is a new thing for us. Well, we're eating in a grocery store. First time for everything. We didn't really care we were so hungry, huh? <laughs> Happy to eat at a grocery store. I'll be honest with you. I am so tired, my brain is not even working very well right now. We just ate, so maybe that'll help. Just made it back to Unicoi Gap. Got dropped off by Darren. Um, so nice. Just gonna start the first climb of the hardest part of the AT in Georgia. So Unicoi to Dix Creek, and we just got the rundown. So we know what we're up against. So yeah. uh, we know there's water when we get in there, and we know there's some uh, quite a few stealth camping spots. But you're gonna have to carry your water a lot. It seems like during this segment of trail. So. We'll see. Nothing to do now, we're no. in it. <laughs> yeah, signing off. This is like literally right off the road and they start you out with just gorgeous Gorgeous sections. Just got full water and crossed this little deal here and we refilled down there. We're trying to find camp pretty quick because we're beat today. So, and uh, full resupply on Chad is kind of heavy. So, this is going to be interesting. Chad's going up to the top of this flat on this mountain to see if there's a tent site. Because after we got water, what? we passed a few sites. Trying to find the right one, you know, for the night to stealth camp. And then the uh, trail continues on that way. So he'll come back and give us a report. Hopefully something good somewhere he can go to the bathroom privately in the morning and at night and stuff. Much prefer stealth camping. What do you see? I see. Dan. See if it's flat. That always matters. The last time we were in a tent site and it wasn't good and flat. I was slipping off my mattress like crazy. Oh. Well. Hmm. Uh, huh? Back here? Yeah, because I'm not crazy about this. Oh, bug. Hey. This is different. Nobody's up here either. Huh? Oh, good. Oh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. It's green. Oh, he just put his flag down. He staked his claim. This is it, huh? Yeah. Holy. Whoa, look, a legit, legit pad. Dude, this is nice. This is the nicest one we found. Nice. Oh, somewhere to put our booties. I'm happy. This is good. Huh? What's it, what's it say? What's it say? So we're good. We're good? Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, campsite for the night. Perfect. Perfect. Taking my pack off. This is the best site we could ask for. Oh, 
Absolutely. Nice for the end of the day. This is like the site you go to a park and pay for. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So just had a shower. <laughs> yeah, I need a shower. We got baby wipes, and that's the thing nobody can see us out here. We can baby wipe it up. Taking care of your feet? Yeah. I'm pretty sore today. Yeah. Me too, my big toe. But I think if we weren't doing all we're doing, I would have a giant blister right there. Yeah, for sure. Because well, it's already it's a hard blister. <laughs> I'm glad we got that tape. This is nice collected a little bit of wood here.